Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I've spent the morning cleaning up the house. I have some bread rising for later today, but it is Saturday. I have the day off of work and it is grouse hunting season. So I am just getting ready to get all packed up and head out and go try to find a couple grouse for supper. So I am bringing my pack, which is absolutely overkill for grouse. However, um, it has this liner that is really easily washable so in terms of like putting the grouse in there after I've shot them it's the easiest to clean so it's way overkill for grouse hunting but I cannot fit my snacks and my bear spray in it so I don't mind bringing it along I have a 22 which is what we're going to be using today to um, hunt them also if you are not a hunter or not into hunting content I am not going to show actually shooting any of the animals um, in this video. Uh, YouTube does not uh, encourage that type of content, nor is it content that I think everybody wants to watch. Um, so I'm going to try to do my best to like zoom in on the grouse and get some video of it, put the camera away or either put the camera just on me and then actually go ahead with shooting the grouse. So if you have any concerns about that, um, it's not gonna be in this video, it's gonna be clipped out. Um, so you don't have to worry about that, but I hope you will come along with me and enjoy the scenery and get to see these birds close up. All right, we are all suited up. We have our gun unlocked, our clip loaded our pack on and I am also wearing orange. It's not um, necessarily required for grouse hunting um, but it is also moose season and also just safety in general. I much prefer to wear colors. Um, there are people, other people who hunt this trail as well and so there's kind of two main ways people up here hunt the grouse and that's either by driving and kind of spotting them from the vehicle or by walking um, and it's a beautiful fall day the sun is shining and I thought what better than to take a lovely walk through the bush and see if we can't get some grouse so uh, today in Canada it is also National Truth and Reconciliation Day so I just want to acknowledge that I am on the traditional lands of the Dene people um, and the community is compromised largely of Dene people as well so I uh, just wanted to mention that and yeah, let's see if we can find some grouse. I find it so funny that all along the trails you'll notice mushrooms um, stuck in trees and that's because the squirrels are stashing them away for the winter, but they're kind of just like all along the road. So when I'm looking for grouse, I'm checking to see if they're out on the road or just on the ground um, foraging around. If they're on the ground roosting, I've often found them nestled up against the base of a tree or they could also be up in the tree roosting as well um, especially right now it's kind of mid-afternoon it's not the ideal time to be hunting them um, but if we're not seeing any on this walk this afternoon I might come back later this evening a little bit closer to dark and see if I don't have a little bit more luck then well this is promising we've had some rain the last couple days and those are grouse tracks there. There's also some squirrel tracks, which are just adorable. Um, so that means in the last couple days, at least, there have been grouse on this road. So the two main species of grouse that we have are mostly spruce grouse. We do also have some rough grouse though. Um, and theoretically, we also have sharp tail grouse. Um, my partner has seen one along the road on the way up here, um, but they are definitely a lot more rare and sharp tailed grouse are typically considered a grassland species but there are subpopulations in the boreal forest which is kind of cool if you uh, didn't know that so uh, for rough grouse and spruce grouse we have a daily possession limit of 10 of each species I am not going to be going for anywhere near that I'm mostly just looking for two, maybe three or four if we're actually seeing quite a bit, um, a couple to have fresh for supper, and a couple to put in the freezer for a future meal. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. Well, 
I was just about to turn around and go head down a different trail, but one actually spooked right in front of me. Um, so I have continued walking down to kind of see if I can see where it went to, but I'm pretty sure it landed pretty deep in the trees and I don't plan to go bushwalking after it. So that's a good sign that we've at least seen one. Um, also, as always, when you're just kind of walking around in the bush, especially if you're in an area where you know there's other people, but just even if you're by yourself, always remember your gun safety rules and your muzzle control. Make sure you're not going to come around a corner and accidentally be pointing it at anybody. Um, always just be in control of everything. So with that being said, we are going to continue on and see if we can't find another one. All right, well, I've made it to the end of the trail system and other than that one that I saw fly off, I haven't seen anything else. I uh, found a really cool spot with some water and there was some different tracks around it, so that's kind of cool. I might have to bring my camera back and check that spot out later. Um, but I'm kind of thinking I'm just gonna head back to the truck and come out a little bit closer to dark. So about like five, six o'clock probably and maybe try just a later on in the day when they're more likely to be coming to the road to get um, the little bits of grit and rocks for um, crushing up the food that they eat. So um, yeah, I haven't really figured out if these are more morning birds or evening birds. We've kind of only hunted them in the evening and I'm starting to think they might be more of a morning bird. So if I don't get any tonight, I might come back out um, for like kind of like sunrise uh, tomorrow morning as well and see if that makes any difference. All right, well, we just finished walking the last trail for this afternoon and we didn't see anything. So um, I am going to head back to the house. I'm going to have some food, have a little rest, and then I do think I wanna come out here again a little later on in the evening. So I don't know if I'm gonna come back to this exact same spot or if I'm gonna try a different spot, but um, I will let you guys know. And we will continue this video in search of some grouse. So hopefully this will go well. This is now my third time trying to do a grouse hunting video and they have been very unsuccessful so far. So fingers crossed. All right, well, you guys can probably tell by the hoodie and the light fading that we are back out in the evening this time. It's about an hour before sunset. So we're gonna try to see if this makes any difference. I think it will. Um, the birds are generally more active, kind of dawn and dusk type, so uh, park the truck and we're going to walk some of the same trails, but hopefully maybe there will be something out. Um, I'm not going to go quite as long of a walk. I think I ended up walking for two and a half hours this afternoon. Um, probably only going to have enough light to do an hour, so I'm going to kind of head in and then head back out, but hoping that I will see something. Okay guys, the evening's working. I We just found our very first gross. It's right alongside the road, so I'm gonna try to get, so I'm not shooting along it. Um, I wanna position myself better for my shot placement, but I'm gonna zoom in now, just in case it flies away, so you guys can actually see one. All right, guys, we spooked it up to the tree here. So just a fair warning, there probably is going to be some blood in this video. There is going to be deceased animals. It's not your thing. I would suggest maybe not continuing watching um, or just skip through to the end. All right, you guys, we got our first gross on the ground. Um, that was awesome. We saw it on the road and then when I was trying to position myself because I didn't want to shoot like along it or across it just because people do use this trail, um, it did spook up into a tree, but that's okay because then that gave us better positioning to not be shooting on the road and I much prefer it that way so it was actually just up in this tree here sitting on a branch and we got it beautiful beautiful spruce grouse
Alright you guys, so this is the spruce grouse. This one is a little female. The males will have more red along their head and they tend to be darker. They have a beautiful, beautiful tail with a nice orange on the bottom. And we are going to get this one into the backpack. All right, well, even if we don't see any other grouse, um, I'm super happy that I at least got one for part of this video. I really enjoy the taste of spruce grouse. Um, they can be a little bit, um, like some people say they taste like spruce, some people say they taste a little gamey. Um, I think it all depends on the time of year and what they're eating. Um, right now, like the one that we got last week, um, its crop is full of the lingonberry and bearberry, and so I don't notice a spruce taste to the meat. Um, but the biggest thing is with these birds, like really any other wild game, is that overcooking them will bring out the kind of gamey flavor. So the biggest thing you want to do is make sure that you don't overcook them. My favorite thing to do with spruce grass specifically, uh, which is the one that we just got, is to cube it up nice and small, just completely take all the meat off the bones and then pan fry it in butter and then add it into like a pasta sauce with some fried bacon and some mushrooms and some penne. And if you can do lactose, do Alfredo sauce, 110% recommend that. I cannot, neither can my partner, so we tend to do more of just kind of like a cheesy white sauce instead of a true Alfredo. Um, but yeah, they're very delicious. I also will quite literally just pan fry them and eat them as a snack, just like little little gross bites. So um, another YouTube channel on here called Simple Living Alaska. I love their channel. I watch it all the time. They did spruce grouse chicken and waffles, and we just got a waffle maker. And so if I do end up getting a couple, I really want to try out that recipe that they shared. I'm going to link their video below too. Um, if you guys like kind of my outdoor content and like up north content, definitely check out their channel as well if you're not already following because um, yeah, they share some really, really cool stuff from up in Alaska. Oh, there we are. I think it's a roughy. All right. I've got the gun unloaded. And yeah, this is a roughed grouse. So you can tell because there's not the orange on the tail. It's got the brown and then the gray and black together. But wow, that's a pretty bird. It scared the crap out of me. It jumped right up from the road right into that tree. But we managed to get it. It's the second one. All right, well that is awesome, you guys. I did not expect to get both a rough grouse and a spruce grouse today, um, but that means that I'm gonna be able to show you guys the difference. So this was the last trail that I was walking on anyway, so I might peek down that original trail or I might just go straight to the truck, and maybe drive further down one of these little side roads and see if I can't find something else in a new area. But uh, for the most part, a very successful evening hunting trip in the end, so. All right, so here we have the rough grouse and here we have the spruce grouse. You can kind of see there's some difference in the feather pattern here. And then a huge giveaway is the tail. So the rough grouse has the brown and then the gray, black, gray. And the spruce grass, spruce grouse has the dark with just the orange tips and there's no kind of line like this gray band across here. 
reasons. So those are kind of the main reasons. These tend to be more brown. These tend to be much more darker, kind of have more black in them. So now that I have all the meat off the birds, this is from the spruce grouse and this is from the rough grouse. So the, just the difference in meat texture may also, or meat color, sorry, may also be why some people find the spruce grouse a lot more gamey. All right, well, I'm back at home. We have chili getting ready to go along with our fresh bread for supper tonight. And I'm going to cook up those grouse probably tomorrow for lunch. So um, if you guys watch this video, thank you so much for watching. Also, if you didn't watch it because it's not your thing, I completely understand, no hard feelings. Um, but yeah, so I hope that I will have some more hunting videos in the future for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments. I am not a grouse hunting expert at all. This is probably only like the fifth or sixth gross maybe that I've even shot, um, but happy to answer what I can. And if you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this video and give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.